Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I don't know why my chat never works. Let me pop this out. I uh, hope you guys are having a good week, a good afternoon. Um, happy hump day. It's Wednesday. Hello, VM. Hello, Kiwi. Hello, Kayla. Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Um, so I guess we're just going to have a chat today. I really don't have anything planned. I have this hair on my forehead. What the hell is that? Uh, hey, Crystal. <laughs> Yay, Cindy time. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Welcome, guys. So, what's been going on with you guys? I have a new vlog. So, this morning I've been editing a vlog all morning. So, it is going to be coming out a little bit later. Because I, I didn't upload it. I didn't want to upload at the same time I was streaming. Because I was worried it would fuck with the bandwidth. Uh, waiting very impatiently for, my call, for a call from your fertility clinic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. And nervous for you. I, I bet you're super nervous. So yeah, there's going to be another vlog coming out uh, later this afternoon after the stream. And then there won't be one tomorrow though, because I didn't record today. Since I'm streaming today. You got two new tattoos. What did you get? I really want to get a tattoo. I want to get, um, so I think I'm going to get one on my forearm. Since that's one area where I know I won't have skin surgery. But I want to get like the phases of the moon. Just like a very simple black tattoo is what I want to get. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know. I want to. <laughs> you should. You have 11. I have none. I have no tattoos. Uh, Kayla says, yep, but also excited because I cheated and took a pregnancy test. I just want to have confirmation. Oh my god, was it positive? I guess, I guess it was positive. Or <laughs> you would be so excited. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy for you, Kayla. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yay. I'm really happy for you. That's awesome. Your Pisces sign. Oh, you got your Pisces sign. One black, one white, like a yin-yang. And your grandma's birth date. Oh, that's nice. I also have, there's also, I want to get a Taurus tattoo. But it's like, um, it's like a bull skull that I really liked. I found online that I wanted to get. I want to, I want to get a whole sleeve eventually, but I have to get my arm skin removed first. But I could start with my forearms, I think. Lisa says, I'm a tattoo virgin too, Cindy. I'm so indecisive. I've never wanted to commit to something on my body for life. I know that's how I felt too. It hasn't been until I was like 40 years old that I was like, okay, I think I might, I might know myself well enough to know what I would like. I'm really glad I didn't get tattoos like in my 20s because I feel like I would have hated them by now. Kayla says, after eight plus years of struggling with secondary infertility, that tarot reading you did a while back actually was true. Oh my god! That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. You have to keep us updated. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get a... There's like this Taurus skull, like bull skull that I wanted to get. And then I also want to get a skull that has a raven on top of it with purple roses. Those are the, so those are like three tattoos that I know I want. And there's another one that I wanted to get that's like, um, it's a BPD tattoo, which sounds really weird, but it's like a, a person with like two masks on. I thought it was really, uh, symbolic. Uh, hello, Kirsten. Kayla says I didn't get my tattoo, first tattoo until a year ago. I still haven't got mine. And I don't want to go by myself either. I need somebody to go with me. I need to see if B will go with me. I just realized my nose ring's crooked. Um, Kiwi says, I have one of when I when my one-year-old cousin died. Some roses. Like father, like daughter. One life with a crown. And my birth date was blessed under it. Oh, that's cool. You want to get one, your two sons' names, with your family's favorite flower. That's cool. 
<laughs> Yours is a semicolon butterfly with the words not today. <laughs> Who else has tattoos? Share your tattoo ideas with me. I have like four tattoo ideas that I kind of want to do. And then I would like to get some like based on my favorite bands. Like I want to get a King Gizzard tattoo. Not the name of the band, but just like some symbol from an album or something that I that I really like. Maybe a butterfly because I really love Butterfly 3000. And uh, I'll probably get a wind hand tattoo eventually. Maybe an Uncle Acid tattoo. <laughs> I guess I have more than, I guess I have several ideas for tattoos that I want to do. Uh, your boys are 28 and 31. Oh my gosh. You have the moon phases on your left forearm. That's what I want to get. That's what I want to get right here or right here. On my, I want to get it on my... I don't know if I want to get it on my right or my left. Um, are you excited for the concert later this year in Fayetteville? Yes, I am so excited. Uh, I cannot wait. I can't believe King Kiss are just coming to freaking Arkansas. Oh my god. That blows my mind and I'm so excited. So I also had tickets to go see them in Chicago. Um, Limbs and I were going to go to that because um, he's familiar with Chicago the Chicago area. So he was going to like show me around and take me to places, but I'm thinking I might just sell my tickets for that and just go to the Fayetteville one. I don't really want to go to Chicago by myself. I could probably find, I could probably bring a friend, but I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I have like several months to decide uh, what I'm going to do about those tickets, but I am thinking about selling them and just going to the Fayetteville one. Uh, next tattoo you're planning is your left, whole left arm, like a sleeve of lavender and a turris. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, but I love the idea of the sleeve of lavender. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I want to get some, I want to also want to get some kind of crystal tattoo, like a quartz crystal. I'll get a mushroom. I'll get a snail. I'll get all my favorite things tattooed on me. I I don't know about getting another piercing. I, if I got another one, I would get um I would get it done right here. What's that piercing called? I forgot what that's called. I would either get this done right here or I would get my uh, labrae. And those are kind of I kind of want to do all all of those, but I'm also really afraid that it'll scar like of the scarring and rejection if I get it done here. Oh, that's cool, Kayla. I like that idea. Hey, Josh, you have a ghetto butterfly on your boob. <laughs> I know, I'm so happy that mushrooms are popular now because I can, I get all kinds of mushroom stuff. It's like so easy. You find it at TJ Maxx. You have a smiley ears and nose. My ears aren't even pierced. I need to get my ears pierced. Re-pierced. I mean, there, I have a hole, but it's closed up. I actually have two. Actually, my ears were pierced twice and they're both, they're both closed up. Bridge, bridge. That's what it's called. Thank you, Kiwi. Bridge. Yeah, I want to get my bridge and I want to get vertical labrae. Which, now that I'm single, would be a great time to get my vertical labrae. <laughs> so it can heal up. <laughs> it was your grandma's favorite flower and she's born on 6-5. So her horoscope sign. Oh, Taurus. Oh, I see VM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's really sweet. I like it when they're meaningful like that. Yes, do it. I think I might do it. I think I might actually do it. I heard that it's really painful, so I'm kind of nervous. My uh, septum did not hurt at all. Like, I was so scared. I was free. I couldn't even sleep the night before. I was, like, so nervous. Um, but then when I went to get it done, like, it wasn't bad at all. Like, it felt, I didn't feel it. And people always say, like, I was reading all these horror stories about how it's the most painful piercing ever, and I did not feel a thing. I think they just had, people who experience pain, I just think they have a shitty piercer who are, like, hitting cartilage or something. Um, because mine just went right through. Like, butter. 
Uh, Josh says, I'm planning to get a tattoo on my chest, and it's a special place in my brother and I's heart, so I'm just saving up. Aw. Hey, Emma. Thanks for seven months membership. I really appreciate that. Uh, you also have a belly, a belly piercing, uh, belly piercing, belly button piercing. I would never do my belly button because I'm never going to show my belly because I'm like so self-conscious about my stomach because I have loose skin. But maybe after I get a tummy tuck someday. <laughs> Another thing that I, I think I've talked about this before that I always wanted to do is once I get my skin surgery, like especially on my arms. So I know it, there's going to be a scar. There's going to be a long vertical scar on my arm. And I would like to like make it into a vine. Like I know you can't tattoo on the scar, but just like make leaves coming out of it. Like it's a vine. I thought that would be a really cool idea. Uh, hey, Bella Marie. Kayla says, I keep getting told forearm tattoos were awful by a few people and hurt the most. So I was scared going in and then barely felt it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to hurt that bad. I don't know. I don't expect it to hurt that bad. Kiwi says, I understand I'm plus size and still did it. <laughs> it's all about comfort, but I understand, which is why I did it myself. Yeah. Uh, Lisa says, I went to get my granddaughter's ears pierced and couldn't believe some of the piercings the employees had. <laughs> yeah. At the, so we have like a piercing parlor here and everybody's all pierced up. Uh, they do all kinds of different piercings. I'm like, I keep messing with my knee, with these things on my knee, and I'm like making it irritated. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Hey, lip glass. Um, I am considering it. Well, I've been considering get a, getting a tattoo for the past year, and I haven't ever gone through with it. But I want one. I want multiple tattoos. I have a very low pain tolerance, so I already expect it's gonna hurt. But that's why I'm going to start out with something simple. Um, just a very simple moon phases. You also have an eyebrow piercing and didn't feel it. Gosh, I feel like that one would hurt. I considered that one too, but I'm also afraid of the... I'm afraid it's going to reject and leave a big scar. That's why I like the septum piercing, because if it scars or anything, it's inside your nose. Nobody's ever going to see it. Plus, I just love the way this looks. I really like this uh, piercing. It's the, it's the piercing I always wanted, and I was so happy I went for it and did it. Yours didn't hurt? Your piercing or your tattoo, Kirsten? Lisa says, I gave birth with no pain meds and didn't scream once. Just said it feels like a train tearing through me. I sh you should be okay for a tattoo. Yeah, I've had kidney stones that were so painful. I, th I almost passed out from the pain. And also, I had labor pain. So, I feel like I can handle a tattoo as well. Would you ever get a Monroe piercing? What is that? I don't know what that one is. I feel like, isn't that a penis piercing? What is that? Hold on, I gotta look it up. What is that? Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> it's not a penis! <laughs> oh, it's like right here. Um... I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that or not. It seems like it would hurt. I'm looking at pictures of it. It seems like it would hurt. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking at pictures. I and I'm and I'm considering if I would do it or not. What's a Medusa? There's so many piercings, I don't know what they are. What's a Medusa? Oh, that one right here. I don't think I would get that one right here because I don't have a lot of space in between my nose and my lip, and like my septum ring is right there. So I don't know. I don't feel like I would I don't feel like I would get one there. Yeah, lip glass. Yeah, they're, well, the, the design that I want to get is just the phases of the moon. But I've thought long and hard about tattoos for many years, and I would never get anything that... Oh, I just realized my... Hold on, my filter's on. I would never get anything that... There we go. I wasn't absolutely sure I would want for the rest of my life. 
And so, that's why I was just saying earlier, I'm so glad I didn't get any in like my 20s. Because I would probably regret them now. Jackson has a headache, so he's cuddled up to you. Aww. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't get my tongue done. I would not get my tongue. I remember like, Back in the early 2000s when tongue piercings were, like, so cool. They were so in. I would never do it. Oh. Do any of you guys have your tongue pierced? No man's name. I would never get a man's name tattooed on me, ever. 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 I would never do that. <laughs> the sideways ones? What? Sideways what? It's so stupid to get somebody's name tattooed, like a, a romantic person's name tattooed on you. Not like a kid or something, but you know, you know what I mean. Like a boyfriend or even a husband. Cause shit don't last, y'all. You never know. I got shit all over me. Yeah, I don't, I couldn't do a tongue piercing. Sideways tongue piercing. I have never seen that. Hold on, now I gotta look that up. Sideways tongue piercing. Um. Oh. Ooh. No. Ooh. There's an infected one. Ugh. Nope. Nope. I don't like that. I do not like that. That's gross. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get my ears pierced, re pierced normally. Just like one normal earlobe piercing. Yeah. I want to do that. They're not pierced now. No, it's like, it goes sideways, like, like it comes out on both sides of your tongue. It's gross. I don't like it. I don't like it. How does it not get infected? I know. Uh, Lisa says, I figured my boys are one thing that will never be taken away from me, so their names. Yeah, I think your kids, I think that's fine. Because you're, they're always going to be your kids, you know. But just like somebody you're dating, no. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Very much you hate it. I do too. It's gross. Uh, Emma says, I wanted something to remember my mom by. I want her star sign on a sunflower. She was a Scorpio or a Libra, depending on what book. Oh, she's on the cusp. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's really meaningful and sweet. I like that. I would break all my teeth by biting it. I know. Uh, your mom got her ear double pierced. See, mine are double pierced. Or they were. I don't know if you can see. I think you can kind of see the hole right there for one of them. Yeah, but mine were double. My lobes were double pierced. I have big ass ear lobes, man. I could fit like three earrings in there. <laughs> but I think I'll, I probably will just go ahead and get them double pierced, honestly. Yeah. While I'm there, I might as well just go ahead and get the double piercing. So, honestly, my ears are probably the next piercing I get. And then, after that, I, I might... If I'm going to get my labray done, I want to do it while I'm single. So, sometime, like, in the next year, I'll consider doing that. Because you have to let it heal. You can't, like, kiss or anything for, like, six weeks. Or longer. I don't even know. You want to get double pierced but don't know if your lobes are big enough? Most people's are. I could probably, I could get triple pierced with these lobes. Um, but I'll probably just do double for now to start. Yeah, I like the labre. I'm going to get the vertical labre is what I want to get. Yes, I've got my favorite t-shirt on, Emma. It really, it, this really has become my favorite t-shirt. And somebody complimented it on me, complimented it. The other day. Or actually, it's been a couple weeks ago. I forgot to tell you that. Um, a really good-looking guy, too. He was like, oh my god, that shirt is awesome. What is that? And I was like, oh, it's a tarot card. The lovers. <laughs> uh, 
person says, I did my own ears when I was 16 at home. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Oh my God, when we were teenagers, uh, me and B, we pierced, or he pierced his own ears when we were teenagers. I would not recommend it either. It looked really painful. I hope he doesn't get mad at me for telling on him about that. <laughs> we were young, like 15. <coughs> You thought about getting the Ashley piercing, but you bite your lips a lot. I don't know what that one is either. How do you know all these piercings? There's an encyclopedia of piercings. Hold on. Uh, the T, I know. The T. Oh, no, no. I couldn't do that one. The lip? Mm-mm. Nope. I don't like, I don't like that one. I want anything like in, uh, I don't, uh-uh. I like the vertical labray because it kind of, doesn't it come up behind your lip? I'm, I'm looking at pictures. I hope I'm understanding this piercing correctly. You wanted to become a piercer, so you search them up. Oh, that makes sense. You got it done at a salon with a gun that I heard it can shatter your ear. It's probably do it at home with shatter your ear. See, I'm not going to go to like Claire's and get it done. We have like a piercing, we have a piercing place, like a piercing parlor. And the guy, that's where the, I got my septum done and the guy is really good. So I'd probably go have him do my ears. Yeah. Um, yeah, Emma, I like a, I like a little bit oversized. But it just, I guess it just depends on what it is. But yeah, I like a little bit oversized. So like a large. But you don't have to do that, but thank you. <laughs> oh, I could never get my nips done. Oh my god, no. Oh. That just freaks me out so bad. I would never do that. And for what? For what purpose? I don't... Okay, I don't want to know the purpose. Did you get yours done, Kirsten? Oh my god, no way. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So does the... Okay, so tell me... Maybe I'm misunderstanding this piercing. The vertical labrae, does it go, it comes behind you. It, does it go through your lip? I thought it like the hole went in here. The hole goes under your lip, right? And then it comes up behind. Okay. Wait, yes to what? <laughs> I asked two questions. Yeah, I would never pierce my gents or my nips, ever. <laughs> um, your friend had a face dermal and it looked weird when she changed the jewelry. I have no idea what that means either. Let me, now I gotta look it up. Hey, Mary. You have your ears pierced? I don't even have my ears pierced. Oh, yeah. See, I don't like those. I don't like the, the dermal piercings. I feel like there's a high chance of rejection. So, actually, when I was going to get my uh, septum piercing, the lady at the piercing place, um, B asked her, like, uh, are there any piercings that you guys won't do? And they said that they don't like to do, like, the dermals and stuff because there's a high chance of injury and rejection. Your favorite was your snake bites. Yeah, those are cute. I like those too. It does go through the lip, but it's like under, right? It's under and through. Because I'm looking at it and the way I understand it. 
depends there's two so the way i want to get it done is not the one that goes through your lip it's the one that goes under your lip and then the jewelry comes behind your lip and over the top of it you know what i'm talking about i don't want a second hole through my lip I want the one where you basically just have one hole underneath your lip. You know, okay, you do know which one I'm talking about. So that exists, right? I didn't just make that piercing up. That's a thing. Because I'm looking at pictures and I see two different ones. I don't want it going through my lip. Okay, I'm right on the mark. Okay. Good. I thought so, but then when you but now I'm seeing people getting them through the lip and I don't want I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. Emma says my belly button healed up as soon as I took it out when you were pregnant with Lexi. Yeah, I heard that it heals up really fast. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go through with the little braid or not. Definitely, I definitely am going to get my ears done. But we'll see. If I get brave and try to do it. It it does look painful. I feel like it's going to be very, I feel like it's going to hurt way more than the septum. Oh, that's not a vertical labrae. That's just labrae. Oh. Okay, let me look that up. Uh, I'm trying to see. It's not showing me any good pictures. But yeah, that's what I want. Okay, I don't want vertical labrae. I just want the labrae pierced. And then I can wear the ring that goes up over my lip. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Or find a hoop. Yeah, a hoop that goes in it. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I, uh, thank you. Thank you. Now I know what I want. Yes, perfect. Perfect. And then, and then you can do a ring that goes over the front or you can do like the barbell so that it comes up behind your lip and sits on top. Your sister-in-law took out her septum piercing for a couple days because it felt sore and it closed in two days. She had the piercing for about five years. I've heard that it closes really, um, really quickly. And I was really nervous when I, when mine fell out. Mine fell out on like New Year's, I think. Um, and I didn't, and it was like a day when the stores were closed so I couldn't get another one. And I was like so afraid that it was going to close up, but it didn't. I just got one the next day and it was fine. Thank you, Kiwi. I appreciate that. Now I know what I'm doing. Now I know what to ask for. I'm glad I didn't go and be like, I want a vertical abray and they're like stabbing through my lip. That's not what I want. What book did I start to read? I started to read more of my Dragonlance book that I was last reading. The I think I'm on Time of the Twins. Uh, I didn't get very far though, honestly. I haven't been um, reading very much, but tonight I'm going to read um, one of my witchery books I plan to tonight. I've actually been doing like pr pretty okay today. And so yesterday was very up and down for me. And I, I, I made a vlog yesterday <coughs> about some things that I was dealing with. And I was really like very up and down emotionally yesterday, but I've been doing pretty good today. And I actually feel like today, I want to get back into a hobby today. And I I'm, I feel bad because I know people are waiting on me to make Sims content, but I just haven't felt like playing The Sims yet. Um, I still do my streams, but I just haven't really felt like making The Sims content. But tonight, I am going to uh, read, start reading one of my witchery books and like planning some projects and stuff that I want to do in vlogs and stuff. I, I feel like I'm slowly getting back to myself, you know what I mean? It's like, 
I felt so lost, like, for the past month. Just, I don't know, dealing with heartbreak and stuff, it sucks. And But I'm slowly trying to come back to myself and get back to myself. And I'll get there. I need to repaint my nails, too. They're getting kind of, they're getting kind of shitty. Yeah, I don't know which book I'm going to read tonight, though. I'm going to pick one out of my bookshelf. I have a whole bunch. Uh, Kiwi says, that's understandable. You have to stop and take moments to yourself. Sims can wait. Your mental health matters. Yeah, I agree. And that's why I make vlogs, because I can make vlogs about my mental health while I'm dealing with it. And it's just, you know, easier for me to handle when I'm going through something. But I'll probably never stop making vlogs, honestly. <laughs> Even if I take breaks sometimes. But this is the same with The Sims. I'll probably never stop making Sims content either. But sometimes I have to take a break. Oof. If you look up piercing pictures, be careful because you're gonna... There's some, some really gross ones. People post pictures of their infected holes. <laughs> yeah, going off Sims for a long time is totally normal too. I go through long periods of not playing at all. Yeah, I do too. I'll get, like, tired of it and then I'll want to do a project. Like, I really wanted to do my Sims 4 Pleasant View. And I still want to work on that some more. Like, I still feel like I want to play this. Like, I'm not in a... I don't feel like I'm on a long break from it, but I'm on a short break from it. Besides my streams. But I know I'll get there. I, I told myself I know I would be completely healed. Like, I know that I'm completely, like, not healed, but... I know that I'll be completely over the breakup when I'm able to, like, play Sims 2 by myself at night and have fun with it. That's when I'll know. <laughs> Which dog food brand would you recommend for a puppy? I trust your judgment. I feed my dog Science Diet, and I have for years, and they thrive on it. And they have a puppy food, too. Uh, they have done so well on, um, on Science Diet. And you have to, like, they don't, you have to get it at, like, a pet co or, like, a pet store. You was going to the store just for that? Yeah. Do you have a puppy? That's so funny. I was just talking about the science diet food in my, uh, vlog I'm going to publish today. Because I had to start, uh, my dogs are now, like, over seven years old, so I have to start feeding them the, the seven plus food. I mean, they can still eat the other food, but. Yes. Oh, what kind do you have? You're getting a puppy on March 15th. Oh, congratulations. Emma says, I have physio tomorrow and I'm nervous about it, but I know the issue will never completely go as I have scoliosis. Oh yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. A multi-poo? Oh, <laughs> 10 weeks old. Oh, but he's so adorable. What's his name? I remember when Bella and Morty were 10 weeks old. They were so tiny. I remember they couldn't even jump up on the couch. And Bella used to sleep in the bookshelf, in the bottom of the bookshelf. They were so cute. <laughs> They're bigger than I thought they would be. Uh, they got like, Morty's like 20 pounds. And I didn't expect them to get that big. It's the dachshund in them, I guess. What's a good female dog name? Your family can't agree. Well, I don't know. If I ever had another female dog, I was going to name her Cassie. His name is Bruno. You wanted his last name to be Mars, but your boyfriend said no. <laughs> I always wanted a, um, oh, what the hell? I always wanted a Mastiff. I couldn't think of the name of it. I always wanted a Mastiff, those big, huge, protective dogs. I always wanted one of those. But they're, like, very destructive because they're so huge. And you gotta have, like, a lot of space for them. And they're still gonna tear up everything and knock shit over. And, <laughs> like, they're just... They're so big. Uh, 
not a bull mastiff, a, what's the kind that I wanted? Hold on, not a bull mastiff. No, I guess just, no, I feel like it's called something else besides just a mastiff, the one that I wanted. Mastiff breeds. Let me look on the American Kennel Club. Okay, it just says Bull Mastiff, Mastiff, and Neapolitan Mastiff, and Tibetan Mastiff. No, I just want the regular one. They're good natured, pe peaceful, family oriented dogs, but they're very, like, they're guard dogs. But they're like very, they'll herd your children, or not herd, but they'll protect your children. They'll protect your other animals in the house, they'll protect your home. Yeah, I guess it's just a... An English Mastiff. Is also just the Mastiff. Yeah, that's the one I want. Or I wanted. But yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna get any more pets probably, but... If I ever did, that would be what I would want. But also I just don't, you know, you gotta have a lot of space and stuff for them to patrol and... But they are sweet. So I wanted to get a female one and name her Cassie. You want a rag doll? Yeah. Everyone wants to call you. Yeah, mastiffs are gentle giants. Yeah, unless the, unless you're trying to break into their house, then they're they're not so gentle. Your sister in law just got a golden doodle. Aww, she's a 49ers fan of my brother's Jaguar. She wanted to name him Niner. His name is Jax. Oh, I love blue healers, too. Yeah. Uh, we used to have, what are those big-ass white dogs? I think it starts with an A. My dad and stepmom used to have one. Oh, what are they called? Maybe if I search for big-ass white dogs. No, that's not it. What is it? Big ass white dogs is not helping me. No, not those. I feel like it starts with an A. And they're always white. Okay, I'll take the ass out. We'll just search big, not an Akita. Wait, maybe, maybe an Akita. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, no. No, what is it? Oh my god, it's driving me crazy. They're huge dogs. Dang it, I can't think of what it is. Great Pyrenees! Great Pyrenees, that's what it is. It's the Great Pyrenees. Uh, oh my god, they are sweet. Oh, they're very large. Um, and they used, so he used to, like, patrol and, like, uh, protect all the chickens and turkeys and peacocks and stuff. Bean or clover? The boys don't like it. <laughs> I like both of those. You have a corgi named Walter? I love corgis. They're so sweet. Do you recommend any toppers for the food? I don't. I wouldn't. Are you feeding them dry or wet food, Kiwi? For your puppy. I would do dry, I would do a combo of, I don't know, I it, I would probably do a combo of dry and wet. That's what I've always done for my dogs, even when they were puppies. So you could put a little bit of the wet food on top. You have a great Pyrenees Aussie mix and she's a drama queen. <laughs> yeah, the lady told you to do both, yeah. Staffordshire Bull Terriers are nanny dogs. Yeah, that's what the Mastiff is, too. That's why I like it so much. Oh, you're wondering which wet food? I'm pretty sure Science Diet has uh, puppy food, wet puppy food. I know they do, because I've seen it. Yeah. They definitely do. Belle and Morty are, they're going to be eight years old this year.
They do have puppy. Um, yeah, it's like in the green can is the puppy foods. Yeah, corgis are so cute and sweet. You have a blue Boston Terrier. Aww. Boston Terriers are cute, too. I used to have a friend who had one. I used to have a friend who had a pug, too. And let me tell you, those are, that's an animal I feel so sorry for. The pug. They can't even breathe. This thing, it was so sad. It was the saddest little creature I've ever seen in my life. It was sweet. But... I feel bad for their facial deformities. They are the light of my world, Josh. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're so cute. So I was looking at old pictures um, a couple weeks ago with uh, of Bella and Morty. And Bella used to be Brindle. Her coat used to be Brindle when she was young. And it, as she's gotten older, she's now just kind of like a solid grayish brown color. That's so bizarre. I didn't know that would happen. And I didn't even, like, notice it because it happened so gradually until I was looking at pictures of her from, like, years ago. I was like, she used to be Brindle. What happened to her coat? <clears throat> Your coworker has one and it always has its tongue out and breathing loud. Yeah, it's so sad. We created them like that. I don't think that's a good thing. I'll never forget that little pug, though. He's always grunting and, like, make, making these horrible sounds. Sounds like he can't breathe. I'm trying to look at the time at 41. Let me have a drink of water. Also, it's time for me to get a new nail polish. I'm trying to decide on what I want to get. I was looking at I, the I Love Nail Polish because I love that brand, ILNP. It's probably my favorite brand of nail polish. And I can't find a color that I can decide on. Because it's pricey. And I wanted a black. I wanted a black from ILNP. But I can't find one I really like. I wanted a black shimmery. Oh, let me see. You can search their website by color. Let me search by black. Both of your pugs passed from lymphoma. Oh, I'm sorry. That's sad. Yeah, pugs look like they ran into a door at full speed a few too many times. They definitely do. Uh, see, all none of their blacks are like... I just want a regular black. A little shimmery. I'm okay with a little shimmery. But I can't find one. Or all their blacks have some other color in them. Like they have black uh, and blue, black and pink, black and red, black and purple, black and gold. I'm like, no. Halo Dane! They nerfed all the good guns in Helldivers 2 and you're bummed about it. I don't even know what Helldivers 2 is, but I'm sorry for you. <laughs> okay, I won't tell. <laughs> I won't tell on you. Uh, Josh says, I used to have a Maltese Terrier and he was the sweetest dog, but he was getting old and started to bark at his own shadow and we had to get rid of him because my mom was pregnant, so we were worried. Aww. I like uh, Shih Tzus. Probably my favorite favorite dogs are shih tzus my dogs are half shih tzu but they are the sweetest little companion dogs i probably wouldn't lodane thank you though <laughs> you're probably right if it involves guns i probably won't like it <laughs> yeah so i'm still over here trying shopping for a nail polish and i cannot find one that i like i did see one on amazon but i don't know why it's not on their website that kind of worries me ilnp i think it was called cityscape was the name of it i think it might be discontinued yeah i've played stardew valley uh i played it on stream one time a couple years ago it's all right i don't hate it give me cityscape true black holographic nail polish that's what it's supposed to be 
Unless you want to get your frustrations out by shooting robots and big bugs like Starship Troopers. I'm not usually a shooter player, but it's hilarious, hilariously disastrous. <laughs> I'd have to see. I need to watch you play it. Yeah, the, see, this is the one I want. I think I'm going to get this. Um, it's called Cityscape, but it's only available on Amazon. It's not on their website. Is it even sold by them? Who's it sold? Yeah, it's sold by them, but only on Amazon. That's weird. Yeah, that's what I want. I think... It's really pretty. It's like a black shimmer. So, I've been... I've had this nail polish right here, which is... It's chipping. But it's like a, it's not even black, it's blood red. So it's like super dark, so dark red that it looks black. Um, but I want a new black. And I probably should just get like a regular black too. I have a lot of like pastel colors by them that I, I don't know, I just haven't really been feeling those colors. Bye, Emma. Good night. Has anyone watched Love Has Won? Uh, no, I've never even heard of that. Dark red that looks black, like vamp nail polish from back in the day. Yes, it's called like, I can't remember what this shade is called, it's Essie. But you can kind of see the red in it. It's just super blood red. But whenever it's fresh, it looks black. But when it starts to chip, it, it looks red. I love it. It's like my favorite nail polish color. I don't even know if they make it anymore. And my bottle's almost out, so I gotta get something else. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna try the cityscape. We'll see. The thing I like about the Island P is when you. It's like so easy to apply, and I don't make a huge mess all over it. Like, get it all over my fingers and stuff. Because I'm terrible at painting my nails. I usually just paint them the night before I want them to be painted. That way, any, like, all of it that I get all over my skin and stuff will just wash off in the shower. <laughs> the next day when they're dry. That's very close to vamp, which happens sometime around that mod style comeback. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, Moon, also Moon Cat. Have you guys ever heard of Moon Cat? They have some really pretty nail polish colors. They have one called Queen of the Dead that's like a red and black. Um, Wicked is the name of this. Wicked by Essie. Silver? I don't have a silver. I have a copper. Oh, yeah, Chanel Vamp Roundup, 1994. Oh, I see. Yep, I see it, what you're talking about. Uh, but this is darker. This one's even darker. Essie Wicked is even darker than that. You can't paint your nails at all. They look like my kid did them. My, mine, I do, I do pretty well on my left, like, on my left hand, but my right hand always looks like shit. But what, that's what I do. I just let it look like shit. And I, I know you could, like, get little q-tips and like clean it up Psst, i'm not doing that if you just wait a day it all comes off your fingers and looks fine <laughs> that's my method <laughs> you did kind of like mod white eyeliner vespa's bold colors yeah i i liked it too i like the style it's not my style but i like it no i haven't tried them lodane maybe i will maybe i will try them when it before i repaint yeah. It's just practice, yeah. No, they still sell uh, Wicked at Walmart for 10 bucks. But yeah, I found this company called Mooncat, and I think I saw them on Instagram. They have a... Lodane. They have a whole collection called Seasons of Persephone. I have to get that now. <laughs> um, it's... But it's $119, so never mind. Fuck that. <laughs> Yeah, I can't pull off mod either. <laughs> yeah, that's my lazy girl method, Hadley. 
paint them, hop in the shower, and all the excess bullshit comes off. It's true. It works every time. So usually I paint my nails on Thursday night because I want them to look nice for Friday if I'm going out. So <laughs> I paint them Thursday night, let them dry really well, go to bed, take my shower in the morning, and by the time I'm done, my nails look great. It's perfect. See if there's a pomegranate nail color. I bet there is. So they are called Queen of the Dead, Petals for a Narcissist, Freshly Bitten, Garden of Evil, To All Who Ghosted Me, Love Bomb, The Trouble with Immortality, Devil's Ivy, and Fields of Elysium. No, I don't have to get the whole set. They do have... Oh, I'm looking at the colors. They do have this really pretty, like, dark... The Queen of the Dead, I think, is what I really like. It's, uh, it's like a red that turns into black, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. It's really pretty. Oh, here, I can just show it to you guys. Hold on. Hold on, check this out. Let me move you over here. Where's my chat? Where's my chat? I lost my chat. Um... Uh... Shoot, I don't have a display capture. Look, here it is. This is Queen of the Dead. Wait, hold on. I saw a prettier... Here it is. That. That's so pretty. Wait, I don't understand. Why is it a warm transition... What does that mean? Does it change color? I don't understand. Prone to shift with your every fluctuation in Fahrenheit as your temperature rises and your claws thaw. You'll see them transition from a deep shade of wine red to a shade of raspberry red. As your feelings chill, you'll watch as they cycle right back to a deep wine red yet again. Oh my god, that's so awesome. I want that. It's like a mood ring. Yeah, it's like a mood ring, but it's a uh, nail polish. No cat eye nail polish? No. I love this. See, I like the darkest color. That looks kind of like Wicked. Uh, oh, I just realized you guys can't see me. I was like showing you my nails. Um, they also have Emo for Life. Raven, that one's pretty. See, this company has really pretty colors, but they, they're they kind of pricey. Like, this one is 16 bucks. That's like, oof, ouch. I don't know. I'm back. Here I am. I gotta switch everything over to the other screen now. Yeah, Raven looks pretty. Love Bob, that is Hades energy. <laughs> I love that they change colors. I also, I haven't been using a base coat or a top coat at all. I probably should. Mine, mine got all messed up. I don't know. I need to get a new one. That is pricey though. 16 bucks. But it changes color. I mean, that's awesome. I gotta think about that. The Instagram ads sucked me into that company. Uh, it's called Mooncat is the brand. Mooncat. Yeah, I need the emo one too. I need a new black. But I think I'm going to get the ILMP one because it's only 10 bucks. Cityscape. Oh, I was going to show you guys. Let me show you guys Cityscape. Hold on. Properties. Let me show you my other monitor. There we go. Um, Look, here's Cityscape. So this is the one I want to get. It's really pretty. Now I can't find my chat again. There it is. I know. You get cheap black nail polish because you like it to get all chipped. Grunge for life. I know. Look at me. Somebody told me one time, I'll never forget this. I don't know who, I can't remember who said this, but they said there's punk rock in those chipped black nails. And I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> <coughs> That's what I'm going for. 
I've been, I've been using my homemade uh, lip balm a lot lately. One thing that I noticed about this batch in particular, this batch is not as good as the first batch I made. It, it's like very inconsistent. I don't know if I didn't mix it well enough or something. But it's more, it's not as consistent as the first batch I made. I don't know. I wonder if it has anything to do with like the humidity levels and the, um, cause I made the other batch in Colorado. I know mine gets all chipped up, whether it's cheap or expensive too. It's just how long it takes to chip basically. Cause Essie will last, like Essie usually lasts me for about four or five days before it starts to chip. And, but I, and I'll NP the same about four or five days, probably more like four. Almost nobody in your life has complimented your eyes, but at 16, a guy that was too old to get with me but was trying told me I had haunted eyes. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good... If somebody told me I had haunted eyes, I would be... I would feel like that's a compliment. <laughs> that's special. I like that. You got a jail manicure and pedicure on Friday and it's already all chipped. What? I'd be mad about that. I got a jail jail manicure um, before I went on my honeymoon and it lasted the whole week. Oh, really? Oh, it's goopy. Hadley says, I, a review I read on Mooncat said the formula is a bit more complicated to work with compared to ILNP. They said it's very goopy. See, I don't like that. I don't want goopy. ILNP is so smooth and easy to apply. Like, I, can, I almost never even mess up on my uh, left hand when I use theirs. How have you felt about using TikTok? I understand if you don't like it. I was just wondering. Um, I don't use it, so I don't know. Um, I, I, I used to be really addicted to YouTube shorts, which is basically the same thing as TikTok. But yeah, I never, I downloaded TikTok a couple times, but I just never really got into it. Yeah. I probably should use it. Um, I don't know. I Somebody put a clip of me on TikTok and it got like so... I, I think it, it... I don't know how... I remember how many views it got, but a lot. And I got a ton of subscribers from that. So thank you, whoever did that. I think they were trying to um, make fun of me, but I got a ton of subscribers. So thanks. <laughs> it actually helped me out a lot. <laughs> Rest in peace, Vine, I know. Yeah, I have a, Oh, that's right, Kiwi. Yeah, I had a couple What I Eat in a Day videos on there. Um, You follow that person? He loves me so, so much. Oh, well, good. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I... Uh, I forgot. I did have a couple videos on TikTok a long time ago when I first started my vlogging channel, but I never got... I know it's things I posted. Yeah, it didn't really embarrass me, but it got me a ton of traffic, so I was happy. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Valerie. <laughs> yep, so um, I'm trying to think about what I got to do for the rest of the day. What I, what I could talk to you guys about. I don't want to talk to you about what I talked about in my vlog, because it's just about to come out. Um... But yeah, I've been doing my therapy homework. I've been having a, I've been emotional. I've been on an emotional roller coaster this week. Like, damn, it's been tough. It's been up and down for me. But today I feel really good. And today I didn't make a vlog, so sorry. But you get happy me in this stream. <laughs> and but yeah, so after this stream, um, I gotta upload the vlog, and I don't know, probably take like an hour or something, and then. Uh, I'm gonna read tonight. I'm gonna try to work on a hobby tonight if I can. All I've been doing is watching TV. That's all I've been doing at night. Just watch it. I watch like 55 episodes of Forensic Files and then go to bed at nine o'clock. That's been my life for like weeks. <laughs> so I'm finally like feeling like I might want to do something different. There was like one night I tried to read. I tried to play. I did. I did do some building in The Sims one day. Um, but I just haven't been able to, like, 
really get into anything, you know? Aw, that's sweet, Kiwi. It really backfired, I know, Mary. I'm a crime junkie. I listen to true crime podcasts. Like, I, I don't even... Why do I do this to myself? I can't get enough of it. Uh, but I listen to I listen to a Dateline podcast religiously. Like, every day. I'm like, when's the new Dateline? When's the new Dateline? I've listened to every one of them. And I love another... Uh, sh another podcast that I love is Going West. I think I've talked about it before a long time ago in my vlogs uh, when I was still in Colorado, but I still listen to it. Going West. It's a really good true crime podcast. Uh, you love watching I Survived and Evil Lives Here. I, I've never seen I Survived, but I like Evil Lives Here. I love those cheesy ass reenactment crime shows. I, I can't get enough. I'll watch all. I'll watch any of them. They're all the same. <laughs> it's just the cheesy reenactments and stuff. I love it. Bye, VM. Thanks for stopping by. Like, uh, what's one that I used to watch? The ones where it was like crazy neighbors or something. I can't remember what. It's about people whose neighbors ended up killing them. What was it called? Or like neighbors from hell or something. Um. Neighbors Killed TV Show. What's it called? Yeah, it's so funny. Uh, Kill Thy Neighbor. That's what it's called. <laughs> Kill Thy Neighbor. It's the cheesiest thing ever. It's so good, though. Uh, oh, no, wait, maybe that's not it, because that's a British one. No, it's Fear Thy Neighbor. Kill Thy Neighbor is the British one. It's Fear Thy Neighbor. Yes, Lisa, it's Fear Thy Neighbor. It's been on- that show's been on for nine years! My god. It's so good. I love it. I mean, it's- it's bad. I just love shitty TV. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yes, it's Fear Thy Neighbors. Uh, I love shitty true crime TV. I don't like really reality TV. I don't watch any reality TV. Um, but shitty true crime, that's that's my jam. And cold, I've been watching Cold Case Files. So I got a little bored with um, Forensic Files. So I started watching Cold Case Files. Um, I really like that one. And is it the same guy? Who does the voice. So I noticed in Cold Case Files there's like two different narrators. And I don't like the newer one. I like the guy that sounds like the... Like the uh, Forensic Files guy. Cold Justice. The names of these shows are just so ridiculous. Yeah, but Cold Case File, so I I don't even have any streaming services at all. I don't have any. I I just use my, I just watch TV on my Roku. Because you get all the free channels. The channels are not very good, but they're free. And there's like a ton of true crime on there. The first 48, I used to watch that, but it bothers me because they usually don't solve the crime. And I can't stand it when it doesn't get solved. I hate unsolved crimes. Like, oh my god. Find out who did it. Um, so there used to be this podcast that I would listen to. And it's a really good podcast. Podcast. It's called The Vanished. It's a, The host is so good. But it just drives me crazy that these cases are not solved. I can't say. I need, I need conclusion. Deadly sins. There's one that's like where uh, spouses kill each other. I just typed in deadly sins and I keep getting a bunch of crap about the seven deadly sins. That's all you need, true crime shows. I mean, that's what I've been living on. Just true crime. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by it. You want to do some Sims, to do Sims today? I'm not going to do Sims today. But I'm going to do something. Disappeared. Yes, Disappeared is really good. 
But it drives me crazy that they they don't. The people are disappeared. Where are they? Who did it? I need conclusion. Deadly wives. Yeah, that's one of that's probably one of them. And just deadly. We'll just put deadly before it. Whatever you can find. It's a show. It's a show on A and E. I need them solved. Who the f did I marry? Test ATM. I know, low date. I need to get to it. I will the next time I play Sims 2 by myself, I promise. <laughs> Deadly wives. Um, th it's just, I, I just want a list of A&E shows so that I can just read the titles because they're so cheesy. A&E shows. Please, tell me your shows. So they do the first 48. Casey Anthony's parents, the lie detector test. They did a whole show about that? Oh, they do Hoarders, too. Now, Hoarders is one uh, reality show that I will watch, is Hoarders. Intervention. I used to watch Intervention, too. I haven't watched that in a long time. It's, it's very sad. Snapped killer couples, yes. Oh, featured crime, here we go. City Confidential. I used to watch City Confidential all the time, too. Uh, when I used to work, I used to be a, a clerk at a hotel, like a desk clerk at a hotel. And I love that job because if nobody was checking in and, like, you had all your reports done and stuff, you could just read or watch TV or do whatever you wanted to because there's nothing else for you to do. You just have to, like, man the desk. And if nobody's there to check in or check out or nobody nobody's calling or anything, you can do whatever you want. So, I would watch City Confidential, like, constantly. Uh, I would read books. I read, like, 50 books while I worked there. And then I would watch City Confidential. Yeah, just writing down the names of these shows. You used to like hoarders, but you moved on to more positive ones, like that Midwest Magic Cleaning Guy. Oh, yeah, I still haven't checked that out. Yeah, I gotta look at that. The guy, who, who the fuck did I marry on TikTok was amazing. Yeah, Hoarders makes me feel bad, too. Yeah. The killing season. Butchers of the Bayou. <laughs> These, uh, they're so cheesy. Uh... Killer Cases. First Blood. Inmate to Roommate. What the hell? Is okay, I guess they're getting out of- They're following somebody who's getting out of jail. You still rewatch A Haunting? I don't know what that one is. Did you ever hear about that one cult member in Texas, Warren Jeffs, who had multiple wives? Oh, yeah. I know all about Warren Jeffs. I've watched a bunch of documentaries about it because I just found it so disturbing. Um, the whole Warren Jeffs thing. He was the prophet and everybody had to do what he said. And he got all creepy and started marrying younger and younger girls. Yeah. Oof. It's really disgusting and horrible what those girls had to go through. You watch Big Love. It's basically about him at first. Yeah. You watched Inmate to Roommate. Was it good? Then it became a mafia show? Really? Lodane says, yeah, my trash TV is basically having TikTok drama explained to me by a young British guy. <laughs> uh, it just makes me squirm. I know. His brother made an episode of Evil Lives Here. And I believe Warren Jeffs, I believe he was captured in the city I used to live in. Um, I believe he was finally captured in the city I lived in in Colorado, I think. Let me relook that up, but I believe that's... Yeah, during a routine traffic stop in Pueblo County, Colorado, police found nearly $142,000 in cash, $7,000 worth of prepaid debit cards, and personal records. Yep. A 
Or was that him or was that somebody else? Hold on. I'm not understanding this. His brother, Seth. Okay, it was his brother, Seth, who got caught in Pueblo. So, yeah. Anyway, I knew there, I knew there was something going down over there. So, I have a tendency to hoard. My, my I come from a family of hoarders uh, on my dad's side. And I do have the tendency to hoard, but I am always able to purge. I do get very sentimental about things. As you probably have noticed, I still have dead roses in my, be in my bedroom. Um, I get very sentimental about things, about objects, and I have a hard time letting them go. But if it's... It, I'm, I can purge after a while. If I feel like I'm getting too hoardy, it starts to bother me and I get rid of stuff. So I'm not a hoarder, but I do have hoarding tendencies. <clears throat> Lisa says it was interesting. Just people getting out of jail and someone that knows them lets them move in with them. Oh. Wow. Hadley says I watched this doc on Netflix, The Texas Killing Fields, and like all these women were going missing and one of the murders happened in my hometown and I freaked out because they talked about how, wow. Yeah. There was a case in Pueblo where I used to live where this girl, this pregnant woman was murdered and it took years for them to find out. Well, everybody knew who did it. Everybody in town knew who did it. It was her boyfriend at the time. But it took years for them to ever, like, be able to arrest him and convict him. And it was creepy. But I believe he didn't live there. He didn't live in Pueblo, but he was around. Um, let's see. Of everything, they did DNA tests at schools in case kids went missing. And I had one done as a kid at school and just thought that was normal. Wow. The MMC channel frequently discusses the neurological and psychological factors in hoarding. He's very sensitive to all that. That's cool. Wow, y'all. Yeah, Great Depression survivors developed hoarding problems frequently, but they called it being a pack rat. Yeah, my grandma was a hoarder because of the Great Depression. She would save everything, like bread bags... She had a drawer full of bread bags. Like, what are you going to do with that? She hoarded everything. And then, like, all of her kids became hoarders. I think it's, I think it runs in the family. And then, like I said, I have the tendency towards it, but I don't, I don't like it. So I will start to, I will start to purge if I start getting hoardy. Love has won sounds interesting. Yeah, I got to check that out. Ah! Love has won the cult of Mother God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all about that story. The Amy Carlson. Yeah, I know all about uh, that story. Man, that was weird. That devolved and that cult devolved into madness. Wow, it was bizarre. Uh, you, and you can still see her videos. They're so, oh my gosh, they're bizarre. <laughs> you love getting rid of things. Your wife love ke loves keeping things. See, that you guys can work together. <laughs> you compliment each other. Yeah. Yeah, I do that too. I've done minimalist purges several times too. And I usually don't regret it when I purge stuff. It, unless it's like something that's sentimental to me. I just see, I see something sentimental to me right there. Right when I said that, I look back. That little thingy, that little hedgehog guy is sentimental to me. Uh, Limbs won that for me at the arcade. And that fox down there, um, Andrew got that for me. I keep little things like that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm very sentimental about little stuff like that. And I think that's okay. As long as it doesn't, I'm not getting sentimental over like trash 25 year old newspapers, you know, then I think that's when it becomes a problem. 
Father God and Father Multiverse live in Wisconsin. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the love is one thing. Oof. I want to watch that now. What's that on? YouTube, it's on Hulu and Amazon Prime. I have Amazon Prime. They live about 30 minutes away from you? Wow. Yeah, your mom was a hoarder and her family were great, dep were great depression. Yeah. I can't, I can't do it either. Can't tolerate it. I wonder, uh, it's on HBO Max, YouTube Premium, Amazon Prime, Hulu. It's nowhere free! You can probably find it somehow, I'm sure. If you're resourceful. You can find anything if you're resourceful. But that looks really interesting. I remember when it happened and I was keeping up with the story and everything. <laughs> Seinfeld voice. Because um, I was just so, it was just so bizarre to me because her videos and stuff, how she just lost her damn mind. Yeah, it's on Max. Yeah, I don't have that either. I have no streaming right now. I know how to get them. I know how to get the shows with other methods. I just I can't be bothered. I don't care enough to do it. <laughs> Even the Amish are getting their own crime shows. Really? Amish crime show. There's a city confidential called Amish Town rocked by murder of young something. The Amish Mafia? What the hell is that? There's a show called Amish Mafia. From 2012. There's murder in Amish country. There's sins of the Amish. That's something different. I mean, it is still true crime, I guess. Uh, I think murder in Amish country. The religion's got militia and mafia. It seems like it. That's crazy. Wow. Vanilla Ice Goes Amish. There's a show called Vanilla Ice Goes Amish. <laughs> From 2013. All right, that's uh, how many how many episodes did it get? I wonder. Eleven episodes. <clears throat> Eleven episodes of Vanilla Ice Goes Amish. All right. One of the worst movies I've ever seen is the Vanilla Ice movie. What the hell is it called? It's so hilariously bad. Vanilla Ice Movie. What's it called? Cool as Ice. It's called Cool as Ice. 1991. If you ever get a chance, man, you gotta watch it. It's so bad. Oh my god. It, it might- it's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Um, and I think I watched it, like, <clears throat> with, um, Mystery Science Theater, like, Riff Tracks. So that made it much more tolerable. It's hilarious. Hilariously bad. A rapper gets stuck in a small town and falls for a local girl whose family is in witness protection. So, so bad. <clears throat> now he's remodeling houses. Well, good for him. Good for him. I'm glad he found his place in the world. Some, uh... A quote from the movie? Just a, a random quote from the movie? Drop that zero and get with the hero. <laughs> like, that's a line. That's a line from the movie that somebody actually says to another person. 
How the hell do you go Amish being vanilla ice? I don't know. He goes to the Amish land and he works with the Amish people. And he does their chores and stuff. I don't know. Um, yes, there, so here's the featured review. This has to be the most unintentionally hilarious movie ever made. It's like the worst Saved by the Bell episode, only worse. You have to wonder what was going through Vanilla Ice's head during rehearsals and sitting through the premiere. Yeah, it's so, so bad. Please watch it. I beg you. I had to sit through it. You should too. No, I actually enjoyed it. It was so funny. Um, all right, let's see. How long have I been going here? An hour 20? Today has been, a, like, a really happy stream, so thank you guys. Um, I feel in a really good mood today. I feel kind of, like, lighter today than I have. Yesterday, ugh, yesterday was not the greatest, but today I feel good. Like, I'm getting, I'm feeling better every day. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream here, y'all. I've got to uh, go finish this vlog and get this vlog out. Oh, and I also have to publish a sim stream. But uh, in future members' vlogs, I'll try to come up with some projects and stuff for us to do. Um, it's just kind of... I'm not doing much right now, so... <laughs> just talk to me. <clears throat> you gotta go back to work. All right, have a good day at work, Kiwi. Thank you. All right, everybody. I hope you guys have a great afternoon, a great rest of your week. And uh, I'll be streaming The Sims on Friday on my Sims channel. And I got another vlog coming up today. So I guess, I, you know what? I was wondering the same thing. Lisa William wasn't here today. Yeah. I whole enjoy your day. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, I don't know where William is. Uh, I guess we'll see him next week. All right, y'all. Bye, everybody. Bye, Lodane. Uh, have a good week. Have a good evening. And I'll see you guys. I'm probably going to do another member. I'm probably going to do member streams on Wednesdays. Um, until further notice. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.